so I'm looking really fresh. I'm feeling really good. I'm about to do a yoga. I'm not like some pro yoga girl. I've just started trying to get into it on my own with YouTube videos. It's called Yoga with Bird. I feel like it's just because she was one of the first videos to pop up when I searched yoga. I will go back to the same thing over and over. Like, it's like I'm just drawn back to the same things because it's familiar. I know this is a really lively, upbeat vlog right now, guys. I know you're loving it. It will get better. God, it looks so good. No word of a lie, the video just ended and then my headphones went, battery is empty. Just impeccable timing. Hello. Oh, oh, ow, my foot! I'm frozen so it really hurt my toe. Ouchie. Baked beans. Crumpets, beans, and cheese. A healthy, nutritious meal. Perfection. 10 out of 10. Hearty meal. I have been biting my lip really badly, as you can see. So it's looking really good. It's because I am anxious most of the time. I'm gonna get really fucking annoyed that I've got red patches all over my lips. All day yesterday, I was just concentrating on work. I'm on my laptop like thinking and picking my lips, it's like. Anyway, gonna go get ready and transform what's going on here. I have a bruise on my forehead. I don't know if you can see that, because yesterday I was trying to splash my face with cold water in the sink when I woke up. I started trying to be like vigorous with it. I was like, <laughs> and then banged my head off the tap. The corner of the tap. I did. I fucking hate, hate how my hair turned out yesterday. So hopefully it will go better today. I'm going to try blowing it with this round brush and then straightening it. I'm also going to try and do it in about 15 minutes, but I have no concept of time. This needs to calm down. Oh my god, I'm doing it again. This on now. I am wondering if there is a really badly tasting lip balm that is like designed to stop you from biting your lips. You know what I mean? To try and train myself out of it. I'm also kind of glad that I don't have time to put makeup on right now because I'm kind of wanting to lean into wearing it less again. Like I know I don't wear tons of it anyway, but I feel like as a woman, you see like a tiny bit of eye bag or a little spot and you think, oh God, I look rough. Like, oh fucking hell, let me just put some concealer on. Like it's second nature. Oh shit, better cover that up quick. Like are men doing that? Maybe some are, but generally speaking, no. Like you look at yourself with no makeup on and it looks like incomplete or like you've not got ready properly. Is that a good way of thinking? Probably not. Thinking of getting a lash lift again because I do like to have like a darker eyelash and brow. So I think that does like really enhance the appearance. It makes my features pop. And now I really hardly ever wear makeup. Like I'm saying this as if I wear full glam every day. I actually don't wear makeup most days. I think it's the mindset shift that I want. I kind of just want to accept myself as I am. Yeah, my under eyes are quite dark. Oh my God, fucking hell, I haven't slept in three days. I've actually been getting about nine hours a night, so that's great. I mean, obviously it's worse if I look down like that. 
This top is really nice, but the sleeves come up and make it look like a vest. It's like the difference between this and this. Just prepping my little meal for when I go out. Using my Protein Works Choc Mint Brownie. It's very nice. It's Oh, for fuck's sake. That's really good. Ready to go. Today, I am getting my braces tightened. Can't wait. I really can. A friend also told me that having your braces tightened is way worse than when they first put them on. So I'm not looking forward to that because when they put them on, it hurt like a fucking bitch. I have had braces before as well. It's my second time with braces, but I had them on when I was like 15, 16. So I've completely forgot. Just going to put my heeled boots on just to walk in there and sit in a chair for an hour because I at least want to look good. Update number one, they changed this one and put a new one on and they've put thicker wires in my mouth. Now what that tells me is it's gonna hurt even more this time. And the deceiving thing is that right now there isn't an ounce of pain. And it makes me think maybe I'll be fine. Be fine. Once the pain has worn off, I have another nine weeks until my next appointment. So it's fine. It's also crazy. The last time I was sat here in this car park, I was crying my eyes out over how ugly I thought I looked with braces. And now I think I look super cute. I think part of the big shock was the fact that I expected them to look straight for some reason. Not my teeth. I know they're not going to be straight. I mean, the braces. Like when I think of braces, I think of a straight line. Kind of like this. But when I first had them on, obviously because my teeth were wonky, the braces were fucking all over the show. And I opened my mouth and I was like, that looks awful. And you know what? I blame Koi Ray because I saw her at like 23 years old with braces and thought, oh my God, she pulls it off like an accessory. She looks great. You know what, Chloe? You're going to look great. And I got braces and realized quickly that her teeth were already straight when I'd seen the braces. Mine were going fucking north, east, west, south. But now I am much happier. Oh, hi. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. Going to enjoy this joy before i want to die later also can i just say my teeth have already moved significantly unreal <laughs> you can tell i'm not feeling great today because my resting face is just like Good news though, my braces are not hurting. I went out for a meal yesterday and I thought I'm not going to be able to eat anything and I was absolutely fine. I had two lots of painkillers yesterday. Definitely worked. If I tried to eat anything really hard, then I'd feel it. I had Indian food. I had like soft lamb and soft bread. So it was still soft, but it was kind of solid. <laughs> my mint chop chip ice cream. I just had the urge to go and watch a Joshua Wiseman video, like the cooking videos. I'm thinking, where did that come from? I've not watched his channel in ages. And it's so weird the way your brain associates things because I've just realized years ago, I used to sit in my dad's living room eating a fuck ton of mint chop chip ice cream whilst binge watching his videos. I don't know why it would be specifically mint ice cream. So now I feel like I have to go and watch his videos whilst I eat this. Which is an interesting thing to think about. Hey guys, I should do a haul actually of everything that I've bought myself for my braces. You know I got my mint chocolate chip ice cream. Then I also got this leek and potato soup. I've had this one before, it's very nice. And I've gone for a chicken and vegetable. Also got these protein pudding pots. I never had one before. So we're gonna give it a try. And last but not least, Muller salted caramel cheesecake yogurt things. So it's yogurt, but like cheesecake. My teeth are hurting a little bit more now, not gonna lie. I keep smashing the painkillers. Oh, it's literally just liquid. I don't know why I had it in my mind that it was gonna be like a sponge cakey sort of thing. Probably because it says pudding. So I was thinking sticky toffee pudding, like a little cake thing going on inside here, but I think it's just mousse. Mm, that's good. 
Mm. Is it? Yeah, I'm disappointed. I'll get it down with me because all I've had to eat today is a mint choc protein shake, mint choc chip ice cream, a slice of leftover pizza from last night, and a bowl of ramen noodles on their own. Nothing else. This is the pizza. I managed to chew the pizza like at the back of my mouth. Thank you. 